This is the new ModCon uh, Cruiser 19 foot uh, caravan. Just doing a quick walkthrough. I'm under the awning now. This is inside and it's a bit gloomy dark morning, but gives you a good indication of how the LED lights work. So we've got two LED lights on the side of the caravan that can be used without the awning. There's also an uh, awning light as well, which um, casts a lot of light. So, down the bottom here we have it's where the toilet cassette access is, and moving along we have a drop down bench, we've got speakers either side of the bench with um, uh, 12 volt outlets, also 240 volt outlet there, That's a double one, a dual one, and the other speaker on the other side. Go past the doorway and have a look at the outside kitchen. It's a four burner kitchen, gas with a sink, um, hot water to this area as well. It has its own lighting, lighting with a flexible light there, and a prep bench out the front of it. That all slides into that front booth there. All right. Just having a quick look at the window, we've got a nice big window there, that's the bed area, the main bed area. And we've got one above the kitchen and one in the bathroom. So we'll walk inside, got down the step. First thing you see is the queen bed area. Storage up above. There's plenty of lighting in this van. In fact, I can even put one more on. The great thing about this van is how it's made. It's made out of uh, this stuff. It's um, a composite panel, got fiberglass on either side, with a uh, closed cell foam core, 30 mil thick, um, on the inside, and that's it. So it's uh, there is no frame. So in that way, you don't get water ingress getting in behind the wall, um, sitting there and you're not knowing about it and uh, rotting away the frame or, or, or causing damage without you knowing it because it's a closed cell foam core. The water can't, it's impervious to water. Um, it also makes the fit and fitment a lot more accurate because window frames, door frames, it's all CNC routed to exact measurements. Um, we have storage along the side here. And you can see the storage there, there's a little secret cubby hole inside there which you can access through that side opening there when you're in the bed. So that's where you can put your your keys, your phone, whatever. Or if you use your phone as your alarm, you've got your USB and SIG socket here, 240 volt if you're on power mains power and you've got your light switches. You've also got, also got lights above there. Storage lockers above here. Same on the other side. This does lift up. Lifts up quite easily and you've got a lot of storage underneath. electric fan above here using for the main bed and also we have the radio DVD player there the TV is on the other side that is there storage lockers above right now to the dining area sitting for four there is some storage underneath each this seat here. Under this seat here is the um, charging apparatus and battery. So you just remove the seat cushions. So 
So that is the uh, charger slash inverter, 2000 watt inverter. Um, and we have one 240 watt uh, lithium battery in there. There is room for a second one beside it if uh, you want to upgrade. Um, and the charger is, um, we set it at 30 amps. That's the optimum charge rate for that particular battery. Also has little um, little fans down the bottom there, which you can see, which uh, expel hot air. Right, so this table um, does drop down and you can convert this area into a, an extra sleeping area for a child as well. A small child. So that's always a possibility. So we've got a nice window for ventilation above the dining area. So we'll swing around and look at the kitchen. So sink with hot and cold water here. This here, that's the uh, access to the filtered water. So the water comes out of your tank and uh, runs through a filter. Um, above you have some storage, same kind of lockers as before. We have the electric control panel up here, your breakers, a few switches. Um, it's a charge controller for your solar panels on the roof. Uh, controller for your um, Truma hot water system. And uh, your remote controller for your charger inverter. And water level gauges. Extractor fan here. Uh, has a light. You turn the fan on, like so. It's operating. Now the stove. We have uh, three gas hobs and one electric. Standard configuration for um, for caravans. Uh, when you're on uh, mains power in a caravan park, you can run the electric. Otherwise, you've got the gas. Same underneath you. You've got gas operation, that's a, a, a griller there with a, a slide out tray, grill tray, and then you have your standard gas oven underneath. Under the sink area, we have drawers. Five drawers in total. For cutlery and other cooking um, utensils mostly. These are soft closing drawers. left of the drawers is storage area again probably for our kitchen utensils the fridge is 152 litres with a sizable freezer compartment Then you have fridgy stuff. Above the fridge, we have the uh, microwave oven. And incidentally, on the roof here, we have an air conditioner. It's a Dometic uh, air conditioner, this one. I'll just show you, we've got these two roof vents which really work well on hot weather. The great thing about this uh, composite panel, apart from its uh, structural strength and the fact that uh, it doesn't have water issues, is also that it is really uh, good in terms of uh, thermal rating. They make refrigerated trucks out of this. That's what it was originally used for until people realised they could make vans out of it. Um, yeah, so it uh, keeps hot air out. Uh, we've even noticed, especially on um, hot days, that sometimes we don't have to run the air conditioner. It's just enough to to um, keep the um, vents open. 
and uh, the hot air rises and out it goes. So you can keep the insects out with that screen or you can close it off completely with that screen. All the windows operate the same way. Right, next is the sleeping area for the children. So the top bunk is accessible through that little inbuilt ladder there. Top bunk has a fan. It's quite long. Has a window for ventilation. The one down the bottom is the same. Has a window for ventilation. Quite cosy and comfortable. There is storage underneath here as well. I mean, you put stuff that you don't access very often under there, obviously. Next, we go into the bathroom. So, this model has a separate toilet and bathroom. Toilet shower, sorry. So, that's the toilet that can swing around either way, whichever way is more uh, practical. So, we'll go in. The shower has an extractor fan, it's a two-way fan really, blows in, blows out, and you have your um, shower nozzle, flick mixer, and so on. It's a fiberglass uh, unit. I'll just get in and swing it around. That was the toilet, window. The mirror there, um, and the sink, and some storage underneath. The good thing about this shower room is that it's you can close it off. Coming out of the bathroom area, looking down at the van, you can see it's plenty of space and uh, it really has it all for a family of four or even five. Um, plenty of storage, plenty of places to sit, just comfortable sleeping, um, very comfortable in terms of temperature, ambient temperature because of the uh, thermal insulation of the um, composite uh, wall panels. That's a modern van modern uh, manufacturing techniques, uh, modern look, and uh, using modern materials. Right, we'll walk around the other side. So we're here earlier. So at the rear of the camp up, we have two jerry can holders, spare wheel, and a reversing camera at the top. So you walk around the side. It's your second jerry can holder. And around this side here, we have some of the plumbing for the water filler for the tanks. Mains water inlet for uh, when you're at a van park, you can have it permanently on mains water. Then underneath, if you're at the beach, you can shower off on the outside, get all the sand sold off here before you go inside, that's hot and cold water there. Um, it's hard to do with one hand. That just closes up like that. That's the cover for the uh, trimmer hot water system. And moving along, we have yeah, that's the 240 volt Inlet, that's your 15 amp, uh, 15 amp lead, so that uh, puts the whole van on mains power, charges the batteries. Looking up, you have the two windows for uh, the kids', kids beds, the window above the dining area, and the other window um, for the uh, sleeping area. We have a boot, 
These uh, doors, they're triple sealed. So you have two seals on the door and the third seal on the inside. And you have a fair bit of storage in there. It's got lighting. That's on the other side of the slide out kitchen. So a fair bit of storage there. And then you have the toolbox on the front. The top here, top access, very deep boot. So heaps of space in there and um, you have a fridge slide on the other side which I'll show you when we get around there. Two nine kilogram uh, gas bottle holders. Uh, there's a tap. You've got the water pump on, you can run a tap, wash your hands after you've um, Finish packing up. Uh, jockey wheel in the centre position, which uh, helps keep the uh, van on an even keel when you set up. And then it's a bit hard to see, but you've got DO35 uh, coupling there with the handbrake. So, like I said before, we'll go around to the front. It can be used for a fridge slide, it has power on the inside for. Um, Refrigeration, you can use it for whatever you like. You can put a, a barbecue there if you like. So, an important thing to note about the construction of these uh, cruiser vans is um, using the composite panels uh, really cuts down on the number of joins they have. So, there's a join between the vertical sidewalls and the roof panel, there's a join between the uh, back wall and the roof panel on the 19 foot. On the 16 foot there's no join there, that just curves over the same way it does on the front. So really there's one, two, three, four panels for walls and roof and the floor panel. The floor panel is actually a different material, it's a, a PVC honeycomb uh, type construction which is uh, better used for um, low bearing uh, you know, when you, you have people walking up and down a, a, a same spot all day, every day, um, it, it's uh, better for that kind of thing, that kind of purpose. Uh, something else to note is that uh, where the air conditioner is installed and the roof vent, there is an aluminium uh, frame inserted into the uh, structure of the, of the uh, composite panel, so it's actually bonded in there. That gives extra strength. From the front you can see the curvature of the roof panel. So yeah, with only, uh, you've got the join on either side, the join for the roof, that's one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven joins in total. It makes it much easier to seal against leaks and also uh, for um, thermal properties, uh, there's less uh, places for uh, hot air or cold air to leak out of. So it really is an excellent uh, construction technique for uh, vans.